Hello everyone, Rob Greenfield here with the Free Seed Project. And I'm Lauren from the Napa County Seed Library. And today we are going to show you how you can turn this one envelope full of seeds into an abundant garden of vegetables, greens, herbs, and flowers for our pollinator friends. We've hand selected some of the easiest to grow foods for beginner gardeners to make this as easy as possible. And we provide these seeds for free to people who wouldn't otherwise have access to seeds. I was excited to get my free seed pack and I planted all of these seeds in my backyard garden. And I want to show you just how much fun and easy it was for me to do that. All right, let's see. So if you're just getting started with growing your own food, we know that you might feel intimidated by getting started. First, we want to say to you that you can absolutely do this. Once you get started, you recognize that the plants know what they're doing and they can help you along. So here we have mustard and this is one of my absolute favorites because it's so incredibly easy to grow and abundant. I didn't know this because I have only planted mustard for the first time this season. And as you can see, it's super healthy. This is one of the first plants that came up in my garden and it's lasted and produced wonderful spicy leaves all uh, season long. Okay, and it's now. a pretty spicy one. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, check this out. You have dill, basil, chamomile, kale, and radish. All right. So one of the reasons I'm so excited for radish to be in the pack is because it grows in just 30 days. You can have radishes to harvest and eat. Greens are some of the easiest plants you can grow. They're very abundant and they tolerate a wide range of conditions. And this one here is particularly kale, which is also one of my favorite greens. Here we have basil and in the basil pack, there's about five varieties of basil. What popped up in Lauren's garden is your standard Italian basil. The Try wonderful that. thing about herbs is in just the smallest amount of space, you can add so much value to your life and fresh herbs to every meal. This is chamomile and it's especially well known for giving you calm and restful sleep. And it's one of my absolute favorite plants. So dill here is a wonderful plant. We get to enjoy this herb ourselves, but the insects also enjoy this herb and it actually brings in beneficial insects into our garden that helps with natural pest control. So many of these plants have multiple purposes in becoming a successful gardener. So right now we're watching a little hoverfly flying around the dill and they are beneficial insects to the garden. The dill is one of the seeds we include, but it's also in the beneficial insect attractant mix. That's amazing. I have noticed a lot more beneficial insects in the garden since I planted a greater variety. Rob, I want to show you the carrots. All right, carrots, <laughs> I love them. Freshly grown carrots in the garden are one of the most exciting foods for new gardeners because you see it growing and you don't know what's under there. And then when you pull one up, Oh, you, have it. you never know what it's going to look like. Look at that cool one. And if you want to get a little bit of a closer connection with the garden, a beautiful thing to do is take a bite right out of the carrot, out of the ground with a little bit of dirt still on it. That is delicious. It's really sweet. Mm, fresh. Unlike the carrot, where you pull up the whole plant at once and you're done, we have some arugula here and you can snap off leaves and make a great salad each day and the plant continues to produce these wonderful leaves for you. Mm. All right, so here we have a bed of turnips. And a lot of people don't know this, but you can also eat the greens and they are a wonderful, delicious green. Very tasty. Also in this bed is cilantro. And this is um, one that just popped up. It came from seed, so it's a self-seeding annual. So this will actually grow seeds, drop them, and come back on its own. And then here in the front, we have some chives that are just coming up. And what's really exciting about chives is they are a perennial, which means that they will come back on their own year after year, and they will continue to grow larger and larger 
in the space that they take up. So here we are back at the mustard and this is the last plant we're gonna talk about again. Hey, I'm saving those seeds. <laughs> so tell us about seed saving. Well, if you wanna participate in the full circle of your garden, then you would allow some of these plants to grow up, make flowers, and then make seeds. And they could save those seeds to plant next year. So with this one pack of seeds, you can actually have seeds year after year by practicing seed saving. So with this seed pack, not only do you get the seeds that you need to plant your garden the first year, but by saving seeds, you can have seeds free year after year after year that you can share with your community. So our hopes with this is not only that you're going to get an abundance of healthy food, but that you'll also be able to share it with your community, connect more with your earth, and create that strong connection in your community, which is exactly what the Napa County Seed Library is about. And so I'm so grateful for you planting all of the Free Seed Project seeds and helping people to see what they can do with this pack. It was my sincere pleasure. I really love demonstrating that full circle gardening and I love connecting with my community, giving them the free produce and then we'll have some seeds later on too. All right. We love you all. Thanks. Bye. Enjoy the seed pack. <laughs>